Hello, welcome to another episode of What's Your Slice? This is Keith Parker. Hi, I'm Debbie. Keith Parker. Debbie, I'm enjoying my very lovely e-cigarette to help me quit smoking as my New Year's resolution that Fair. we talked about. Oh, congratulations. How long do you think that would take? It'll be gone soon. Yeah. Before you know it, many things happen in life that ruin out changes. I think the reason people smoke is because they have oral fixations. I see. Correct. Um, I had one of those. It wasn't really oral. It was more. <laughs> <laughs> it was fine, fine motor. Do you know about fine motor? I do. <laughs> no, we're not talking about motor as in a car. Yes, yeah, so you're fine motor you skills. Drive. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Like with your hands. Yeah. So, um, and since we're talking about changes um, in some people's <laughs> lives, um, things happen, things change, you know. Like their hands? Uh, like their hands, of course. And also, like, the color of their hair. Okay. All yeah. right. Good. So, you probably haven't experienced that yet, have you? Um, no, I'm starting to get gray hair. The older I get, I'm starting to get a few gray hairs. Oh, I see. Uh, I think you did some a little bit of research about them. I did, actually. Um, mm -hmm. In this year, gray hair's coming back, which is awesome. Wow. Gray hair coming back in 2015. Oh, stylish. Know. You know what else would be cool? What's that? <clears throat> Is if bell bottoms came back. Love those. But anyway, anyway, back to the hair. Oh, yeah, bell bottoms. Yeah. yeah. So I think what's important is what do, what do you do when you first notice a piece of gray hair? Now, are we talking about hair? <laughs> oh. <laughs> be nice. Yes, I am. <laughs> All right. We're talking about... <clears throat> Head of head of hair. <laughs> but, head of hair. Thank you for the clarification. <laughs> You're so welcome. So, what happens? Oh my God! You look in the mirror, and and all of a sudden there's this gray hair. one little piece of grayness. <laughs> 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 All right, we had to cut out some something in between. As you see, we've skipped over. We had to cut out something in between because we were getting a little too, you know, silly about that that subject. Um, so, Deb, so let's bring in back in some philosophy or whatever that is you wanted to bring in. Well, what's really interesting that I discovered when I was right. uh, researching some of this is that there really is no such thing as gray hair, folks. What do you think about that? So it's just white hair. And so when they go, when you go to the beauty parlor and they mm. and they color it, Keith, yeah, what they're really doing is they're putting color okay, on top, <laughs> <laughs> on top of white hair. So that's what it is. And one day, oh, by the way, could you do that like again? Because yeah. I was just, I was just like, Ugh. you will have it yeah. too. So, um, isn't that interesting? So no matter how you slice it. There is no such thing as, as gray, gray hair. hair. <laughs> and <laughs> it just looks gray. That's right. And again, we always want to know the same thing. So callers, you know, please call in because this is one of the things I'm debating. I mean, you know, I have this this luscious red here, but it could be gray. Actually, and also Keith and callers. Mm. <laughs> There is the French expression. Did you mm. know that was from France? No, I did not. Holly Blue France. Okay. Wee wee. Wee wee. Pepper and salt here comes from the French. Who would have thunk it? Hmm. Interesting. It <laughs> did what came from the Chinese? You're killing me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you for watching another episode of What's Your Slice as we talked about hair. Correct. And as a conclusion, we need to, as always, we really want to know what your opinion is. Um, so, no matter how you slice it, what do you think? Like, do you have gray hair? And the last point of the day is, does the carpet really match the drapes? <laughs>